Welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, my friends. We are playing with a hell of a ship here, trying to use the Mark IV gun. It's a massive gun here, uh, and we're going to be taking on an entire enemy fleet. I believe it's a British fleet. I could be wrong, but I'm just hoping that this one ship will be able to take the enemy out. We had about 40,000 left over, or really 37,000 left over, but I didn't really see any use for it. Um, let's jump in and hope that just this build alone is sufficient to destroy 70% of the enemy fleet. That's the goal here. We are facing the British Empire, so we can assume this is a World War I fight. Um, and let's see if the Wittelsbach can't win some glory for Germany and for the Kaiser uh, and destroy the British ships here in this battle. Of course, we're going to have to turn around totally. But again, this one ship, is she going to be capable of destroying the enemy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I also made the command port in the center uh, much shorter than I usually do, and I'm hoping this will stop the unnecessary damage to that area, but only time will tell. Victory or death, whichever comes first, my friends. See you there. Welcome back to the fight, my friends. It looks like we have spotted those enemies at quite a distance, so I immediately started turning east. And yes, it does seem like west, but it's actually east we're looking at the compass here um and what i well the ship i began firing at only because i actually spotted it first is this one right here um there's one right here that we actually happened to hit by accident which i think is pretty hilarious and caused a light bit of flooding but i'm gonna just keep my target i mean i've we learned before that switching targets is not a good idea especially in a situation like this although they're not technically yet in my firing range um which does make me a little worried it's gonna be a little harder to hit them but just to make it easier I'm actually going to turn um, a little farther west. Now, something interesting about this particular battleship, uh, before I got those 17-inch uh, guns, those massive, massive guns, here we've got, we've got just standard 13-inchers. They're still big guns, but they'll be able to actually uh, reload a lot faster, um, especially since we're trying to take down 70% of the enemy fleet. I think this is definitely the way to go, uh, is reload faster, maybe not get as large around, uh, but still do some damage here. Okay, we got some flooding on him as well. Absolutely beautiful. And... There we go. I need to fire over there, I guess, in terms of distance, like he's going to get there at a certain point, because it looked like he was firing over here at this other ship. There we go. Nice volley from the Vito Spock. Let's just hope that it's uh, a lucky hit, guys. And again, we're really trying to keep our distance with this guy. I know the enemy's got some destroyers and some torpedo boats, and I want to keep them far away from us as long as possible. that. I think he's doing fine. I'm just going to slow down a little bit to have speed. 
back up. So maybe they got some water out of the ship there. One thing that I'm also really worried about is the fact that enemy destroyers and torpedo boats are on their way. Um, and once they get here, uh, it's going to be a big danger to our battleship. Come on, guys. Oh, boy. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Now, then again, now that we've got another enemy battleship a lot closer, I think we got to cut our losses here. We're trying to destroy 70% of the enemy fleet, um, so let's focus on the ship we're most likely to hit, and that's going to be that battleship right there. Um, I'll also... I'm going to go ahead and go up to full speed, and we are proceeding forward. We're not turning towards the enemy at all anymore. I know I'm gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of anger for for switching targets here, but I think considering these guys are on a very similar trajectory, uh, it won't be a huge loss. We just want to hit the ship that we can hit, pretty much. Take him out quickly. He's closer. More likely that we're actually gonna be able to land a uh, hit right directly on him. Should have a nice yep, nice group of rounds arriving right now. Come on. Oh yes, penetrating it already. Fire. Nothing too serious, but hopefully the start of something great. thought for sure there was going to be a hit there. We did not get any such luck. We're trying to control a fire on our own boat here, but we're going to get those 13 inches reloaded very quickly. Very quickly. And I'm actually going to slow down to slow. I want to give our gunners a chance to really take their time here. I'm not changing that trajectory yet, though. Come on, baby. Come on. Just no luck so far. Uh, the enemy destroyed. There we go. J Penetration and engine 3's damage. Not bad. Now, the uh, thing I'm concerned about is these guys using smoke right here. Uh, those are going to be destroyers and torpedo boats. And they're absolutely coming for us. Now, wait a minute. Why did we switch targets on the warship? Okay, no. We're... Yeah, we're still firing at the appropriate warship. He's taking some hits for sure. We gotta keep it up though, guys. We gotta keep it up. He's in a beautiful range right now. I'm definitely not switching targets now. Let's turn just a little more because he's turned quite a bit himself. I should speed up just to make that turn. And let's be careful because uh, those torpedoes are definitely on the way. Uh, I didn't put any torpedoes on this ship because, well, it's it's not really a ship that, that uses torps all that often. Now, see, that, I did not make that switch. So that was uh, an automatic AI switch. Not cool, man, not cool. Let's keep firing at the battleship. Battle cruiser, I should say. And our goal here is to destroy 70% of the enemy fleet, so I'm not trying switch between targets at all on this one. I'm trying to take out each target individually and hopefully get to 70% at the end of this battle. Come on, baby. Lots of flooding damage there. And maybe the AI switched because the flooding damage is so severe that he's going to go down no matter what. That could be the issue. But I don't want to chance it. I want to make sure that guy's dead. Case mate destroyed. Never a good thing. Gotta watch out there. All right, here we go, another 13-inch volley, and I hope this is the kill shot. Actually, that was nearly a kill shot on us. We have to pay attention now to the approaching light cruisers uh, and destroyers. I'd love to focus on the other big ships out there, but they're just too much of a danger now to, uh, to ignore. 
There we go. See what I'm talking about? Torpedo already incoming. I didn't even see it. We're just going to catch one, but I did not even see that torp. That's the danger of these ships here. One more shot with a 13-incher, and then I am switching over to the light cruiser. Come on, guys. This is a good chance. Make your mark on history. Oh, a glorious Kaiser. I did say I was going to keep firing until the ship was destroyed, though, didn't I? I don't know, folks. There we go. Fire. We've got torps on the way here. Try to slow down completely. And, uh, <clears throat> no, I'm going to have to get another shot. we got to do it. we got to do it. Try to turn it even more here to try to avoid the torpedoes. Alright, we've, we've given it all we can. We've got to focus on this destroyer. <clears throat> In fact, we'd, we'd be better off focusing on the light cruiser. But, um... I've already picked the destroyer, so that's what we're going to do. There we go, over penetration, some flooding. Hopefully we increase that flooding problem severely, and we get rid of this destroyer with our secondaries very quickly before he can pose a serious, serious threat. Let's face it, though, he already poses a very serious threat. Uh, but if we can avoid those torps like we just did there, we're going to be off to an okay start. Coming back up to full speed. Again, I really want to confuse the enemy. I don't want to stay at the same speed throughout the battle. I'm going to be switching it up switching up uh, sort of our motion as well. That battleship is still going strong. That is annoying me a little bit. Uh, but let's let's get rid of the destroyer. He's going to pop torp right there for sure. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Just barely missed. Just barely missed him. We're still doing okay there. Our structure is not great, um, but it could be a lot worse, of course. There we go. So he finally sunk due to the flooding. Uh, that was pretty cool. So I understand now why the AI switched. That guy was going to go down pretty much like a mortal wound to the ship, uh, and the AI seemed to have known that. Nonetheless, we are still chasing this damn destroyer. We've got to turn west. Uh, or actually, we've got to turn south, technically, um, to be able to get away from this guy and to be able to fire all of our guns. He's not popping any smoke, so it's not that we can't see him. Slow down right there. Come on, guys. Perfect chance. Perfect opportunity. Oh! Right at the last second, he turns. And again, fired some actual torps there for sure. Okay, guys, we need the secondary gunners to kick in and do some work here. That sea urchin is barely taking a scratch. Okay, wide turn here. Oh my God, it's going to work out. Now he's like directly in front of us. He's popped that smoke. He's really trying to avoid um, being spotted. He knows what will happen if we get a full volley on him here. But I just got to keep on doing what I'm doing. Go ahead and go full speed. There we go. Finally, Justice took so long. Finally getting a hit on the sea urchin. And you can see two hits there are devastating to that ship. Um, almost able to just wipe him out right there terms of uh, flooding damage. But now we've got to worry about a bunch of torpedoes all over the damn place. I'm going to have to turn the defense spot. At least we're back to a more normal speed. Come on, boys. Penetration. I think we've got to kill. Yes, we do. The urchin is down. Um, the AI has automatically switched to the Tobago, and I am fine with that. I think it's actually the perfect target. He's turning away from us, and of course, in, a, in naval combat, one of the worst hits you can take, you might think to the side, no, it's the back of the ship. The back of the ship is the least 
armored part of the ship. Uh, we can throw around right through his back there, a 13 incher. It's going to do a lot of damage. Maybe. Oh boy, nasty hit there with the torpedoes. We knew they were going to get us eventually. He popped the ones to the left. Pretty standard operating procedure. Oh, man, still not managing to touch this guy. That is enraging to me because he's so close that I can almost smell him. Um, now he's in the smoke. We're not going to be able to spot him. The same goes for the light cruiser. Almost tempted to switch our fire over here to one of the battleships. So we're going to fire at the Africa. Sorry, guys. I know it's painful, but I'm doing it. We're gonna fire at the Africa here. Can we also get a full blast at him. Still not ready to go. Yet at this point, our uh, navigation is pretty badly damaged. Let's just see what we can do here uh, to this actual ship. The amazing if we need to kill on uh, one of the uh, battleships here. It certainly would add to that 70%. There we go. Oh, nice secondary shot there. And we did get some flooding. Actually, our secondary is doing some work on the Tobago. Uh, it's almost tempting me to go ahead and do the same, but what we have to do now is try to outrun a damn torpedo, and I don't think we're able to. Uh, I have to be a possibility here. Come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. At least the Tobago is getting some attention. <clears throat> but just look at that return fire from the battleship. Man, that is huge! Oh! Oh, I knew it was going to be bad, too. I knew it was going to be bad. Um, 13 inches is going to get one more shot, and then I think we've got to focus on the table here. This one's doing so well against it. Although maybe the secondaries alone can deal with it. This is as wide as we can go, considering our navigational situation. Yeah, I think I'm going to fire at this guy. Um, again, especially since we could be going down any second. Uh, I figure we should go ahead and turn our attention to any ship that we could potentially destroy right now. Okay. For penetration, destroy the bunker. Also pretty severe fire. That was a lucky shot. Um, I'm actually kind of annoyed that almost all of our 13 inches right in front of us. We should be able to easily get a hit on him. Alright, a little bit of flooding there. That's what we need, although the Tobago seems to be above water. Structural damage would be the order of the day here. We really got our way. There we go. Rudder destroyed. More flooding. It's not going to be moving much now, but we also have a damaged rudder, uh, or destroyed rudder, rudder ra uh, rather, rather than a damaged rudder. Fire on board. We just need a nice volley here to kill him once and for all. And hopefully his friend here will kind of get in front and also take some secondary damage. Might even be trying to soak up some damage right now. There we go. Oh, I'm sure we had him. Our 13-inch cannons are not doing great. I have to, I have to be honest. Firing's a bit off, um, but we have to keep on keeping on here. Tobago is uh, he's taking quite a lot of hits for a, uh, a basic destroyer, so i got to give him a little bit of respect there. Uh, also, just had a fire caused by the enemy. There we go, some ammo, ammo detonation on Tobago. That's going to be pretty devastating. And that right there, finally, um, a sink due to structural damage. And I think he's doing the right thing here, just focusing on the next destroyer. Just keep stacking them up if we can. Um, and stop them from being able to, of course, use any torpedoes. Although, moving to the Light Cruiser Tribune is another idea. Again, I, I think we need to do anything we can to kill these guys. Here we go. Be 
beautiful hit there on the wave. But we've got some torpedoes on the way, and the, this one we will not be able to get out of the way. no longer see that destroyer. The only thing that's going to save us, my goodness, our poor speed is actually what saved us here. Uh, the destroyer is sinking. We are focusing on the Africa again, and he just happens to be in our line of sight, which is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to keep firing here at the Africa. fight. We had to have lost at least a third of our crew. Those destroyers are way beneath the waves at this point. Uh, but I'm going to keep on trying to turn that vigilance box as much as I can. Again, with the damage turning, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we're going to try. And there we go. Heading straight towards the battleship. You can do this vigilance box. I know you can. Oh, he just barely missed. That would have been perfect. Just perfect. Let's see how long we're waiting for another reload. Can this glorious knight fight to the end? I don't know, guys. Alright, we've got another uh, beautiful shot. Beautiful ball here. Nope. Love that reload time. It's making me really want to use the 13 inch cannons from now on. But again, we, we didn't hit the uh, Africa with that. Volume. But I'm really preferring that reload time. That being said, we don't have these massive cannons. I'm guessing he's got 17 inches. Uh, that can just rip a hole right through a ship. You really have to slowly work that ship down. You can get the lucky shot occasionally, but it takes uh, a lot of time. Right? Go! Fight to the end, boys. To the very end. There we go. Conning tower damage, but no penetrating damage that causes a flood or fire. Reload, boys. What we do at this point is we're just going to go ahead and stop the ship. Just turn it into a floating gun turret. We touched the casemate there. If we could have set the casemate off, uh, caused a massive ammo detonation, that would have uh, that would have been amazing there. We never were able to bring everything in to destroy the Africa. Africa belongs to Germany. said that and we got a penetrating a pit of damage on the funnel but again uh, it's minimal damage it's, it's not going to cause any sort of catastrophic uh, failure in the ship uh, that being said uh, yeah it's a shame we couldn't get a bit closer here uh, and get even more hits another penetrating hit but too little too late now just structurally alone we're going to be burning up and of course the bottom of the ship is flipping I think we got some nice kills though, destroying all of the enemy destroyers, destroying one of the fast uh, ships here. Just not managing to get a set of the in the Africa there. Come on, boys. Terrifying scene. It's amazing you can actually still be shot. 
had so many instances where rounds would come in, uh, hit our ammo, and just detonate the entire ship. So I made sure to defend this area. But now we've got uh, a strange situation where we almost want to be sunk. It doesn't seem to be happening. Um, so we can still look for that lucky shot on the Africa, uh, but I doubt it's 